the three worst things you can do as a parent that will ruin your kids chances of ever having success and probably make them hate you and resent you at least deep down inside when it comes to wrestling these three things never make them feel guilty because you spent money and they didn't win that's not how this works secondly never never attack their manhood or I guess in this case with women's wrestling taking off you know their uh, their, their uh, womanhood I guess right but as far as you don't attack someone's ego sure what if, what if they got spooked before a match and didn't wrestle well you're not going to you shouldn't attack their manhood like you're not a competitor you're I heard a coach one time he was a, he was a moron your heart's gotta grow. I'm like, your heart's gotta grow. Dude, I remember you and Little League used to hide under the bleachers when we did sprints. Who are you, right? Heart's gotta grow. I was like, whatever. Don't say those things. Your kids tried, they failed. Say, hey, what's what happened, man? You didn't look like you, you tried. You looked like you fell apart. You know, you look like you broke a little bit and that's okay. Everybody breaks on occasion. How can we fix this? And another thing, the thirdly, never make him feel guilty, right? Well, I'm gonna add number four. Don't compare him to somebody else. I grew up with a kid who ended up being a great uh, college wrestler, national champ a couple times. Their coach's dad, I mean, his own son got compared to this guy. It was like, you can just tell when one parent wishes their athlete or son or daughter was a wrestler like so and so. Those are four things you never do. Never take control, you know, never attack them because you spent money. Never attack their manhood. Don't make them feel guilty for losing because you lose too, right? Some of us watching just got a big fat belly we probably should lose, right? You're not perfect. Some of us watching this probably aren't crushing home runs every day of our life, right? And don't ever let your kids think that you wish they were as good as so-and-so. That's not how it could be. Because I guarantee you, the little hot shot kid, he gets a lot of attention. My parents got a lot of attention. Wrestling was easier for me and my brother, right? We won everything. My brother won the national title on every level. Pee wee all the way up to men's. And I won about half of them or more. But my younger brother wasn't like that. He didn't win everything. He had to work for it. Still won two state titles in high school. It didn't come as easy, right? But that's okay, too. You know, I told my son years ago. I'm like, Ty, I don't care if you uh, don't win as much right now as Josh McClure, who's a good friend of ours, who wrestles at UNC. I said this, I go, do you wish that Mike was your dad? He goes, no, why? I go, makes $3 million a year. They have this big $2 million mansion. And do you wish that he was your dad? And my son's like, no. He looked like, look at me like I was an idiot. I go, well, guess what? I don't wish that these one, two, three, four, five, six kids were my son just because they win more stupid wrestling matches than you. All right? So there's four things you should never do as a parent. If you're doing them, you need to knock them off. You're probably not doing it because you're a bad person. You're probably doing it because you get frustrated and you think that sometimes, I give them a little motivation, right? Right? You're not, if, you're, if, if your wife, well, let's see, if my wife made fun of me because I'm, have some weight to lose that's not going to say making me feel bad is not going to make me feel motivated so I lose weight that's not how it works I'm going to get mad at her right and I'm going to be angry and you don't want to do that to your kids good luck hopefully this helps and uh, get your kids the training they need they'll have some success